Hi, I'm Matt Vaughan. I'm the CEO and founder of MV Corporate Health. I've just been online with the Online Prosperity Health Show, and I'm just here to hopefully you install you with a bit more power within what you guys do. Enjoy. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today I've brought you the corporate health and wellness facilitator, Matt. Matt, how are you doing, my man? Very good, Prosper. Yeah, very well. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Now, Matt, you would understand that our audience is small to medium businesses that are you know, growing and they've probably hired an employee or two and they want to increase productivity, increase their profits and actually have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, they might be going through a phase of you know, wanting to improve their employees' health and to increase that productivity, that turnover and that morale, but they wouldn't know who to turn to. And I think you have the solutions that can actually, um, you know, work for them so that they have businesses that are actually profitable and enjoyable. Now, Matt, tell us a little bit about um, your business and what it is that you actually help, um, you know, um, the corporate sector to, to achieve. Yeah, no, thank you very much for the, for the kind words. Yeah, my name is Matthew Vaughan and uh, I am uh, the CEO and founder of MV Corporate Health. I'm based out of Melbourne. Um, like I was saying before, I'm actually a New Zealander that lives in Australia, but uh, lived in the UK for 10 years. So I, I've, I've experienced the world and uh, through my experiences, through performance, um, I, I, I started up this business. Now, this business started up because I was already working in the health sector again and, and many different areas and I worked for other corporate companies uh, within the corporate health companies and I found there was this massive hole that, that it almost upset me in many ways. I, I used to go and do uh, corporate uh, uh, boot camps, let's call them boot camps or, or training sessions with companies and I just felt like I was getting the fit people fitter all the time and it really upset me because I felt like far out. There's a thousand employees up in this building, but only three or three to six of them were training with me in the morning. So my brain just started firing and I just, I started thinking there must be a better way. Uh, you need to hit the majority. There's so many people out there who are missing out on the basic health needs to actually, to live an enjoyable life, to actually enjoy what you do on a daily basis. And there's, you know, just over a hundred years, we used to be 99% farmers. Now we're about 2% farmers. And guess where the rest of them are? They're all up in, in buildings and they're doing their corporate jobs because that's where we need to be. And I understand this fully. So I started putting together um, corporate wellness packages that would solve some of these issues, that would, that would start to create healthier, more mobile bodies within your company. So when people are a lot more mobile, they're enjoying life, they can do more for you. And you're going to find that you're going to get far less distractions. You're going to get far less sick days and things like that. And it's just important and imperative for them to have an enjoyable life, even while they're at work. Absolutely. You found a need and you filled that void. True entrepreneur yourself, you, 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 you have become, sir. Now, you did mention something that is... Um, I think a, a, a bleeding neck problem for a lot of, um, you know, corporate and, um, you know, uh, businesses in as much as sick days, people that are not pr producing, you know, at their fullest capacity, how much are companies actually losing when people don't show up to work? Oh, look, it's an easy stat and, and any, any business can do this. Um, that's why I deal with HR or PNCs or directors who have that sort of control to find out what their current sick days are for their staff turnover and so forth. Not, it's not just sick days. It's actually um, you know, retraining someone if someone is away or dumping more stress on the person next to them who has to pick up more work in that day. But if you, were do, if you were to do a quick calculation, on average, you would basically say, how many employees have I got? Let's say 5,000 um, or 1,000 or 500, whatever it is that your number is. You would basically put the average wage and then you determine how many sick days on average they were having. 
once you've done a little bit of math there, you'd say, far out, this could be costing the company $100,000, um, depending on what their average wage is. And you could be able to fix it with a corporate health package that might be uh, worth 20 or 10 grand or something like that there. There's, it's all about giving the power to the people. And the power to the people means knowledge equals power. So if your employees have better knowledge, have clear cut solutions on how to be healthier, how to enjoy or how to get more out of your day, um, working through the peaks and troughs that I often talk about within corporates um, or, or general life, if you get to decrease the amount of troughs, so the, the dips in your day and, and keep, your, keep your peaks at a, at a more optimal level, you're gonna have a far better team working um, far better throughout the day. So look, there's eight hours in a day. If you're on a trough for two to four hours in that day because of poor nutrition, poor sleep, poor hydration, you've got big issues there. Your, your people within your business are not giving you what you need. They're sort of fluffing around a little bit. So it's, it's imperative. Health um, is absolutely imperative for your company and your employees. Absolutely. So you would understand, um, I mean, in life, um, there is so much red tape around people's health issues, people's um, health and well-being. That's why doctors are not allowed to, um, you know, repeat, you know, that doctor patient confidentiality. Now, as a business person, you might have goals on what you really expect your company to be like, but you can't reach that if your whole team is not, you know, pulling on extra um, you know, on, on all capacity, how then is it easier for a business or maybe like a small business or corporate to actually confront their workers and say, Hey, Sally, you haven't been working out for quite a while. Um, you know, uh, Matt is going to come here and then, you know, get you to run around a little bit. Is that not infringing on privacy? Um, yeah, well, a little bit of what you explained is probably someone's worst nightmare. So someone saying, hey, we've got a person who's going to come in who looks fit and healthy to come and make you fit and healthy because that would be everyone's worst nightmare. It would be 80% of people in corporate. They would go, no way. I am not going to put Lycra on or a pair of shorts on and run around with my peers. That's exactly why I, it's almost the last thing I go for. The whole physical health of um, going for a run together or doing a boot camp together is the last thing I look for. It's just getting your general activity to be better. And once we create a culture within your business that creates movement to be known as this is what we do, not oh, this is what we have to do. This is what changes. And what we don't do is we don't say in six weeks time, you're going to be an amazing company and everything's going to be fluffy ducks because I'll be honest, it's not. We are here to change a culture for your company for a long, long time. We need to install certain patterns into your business that all of a sudden become the normal. And a, an easy way to explain this is that when you're driving down a road on any business, on any road in the world, be it America, be it here in Melbourne, be it New Zealand, the UK, doesn't matter. Most roads, most roads between one car coming this way and one car coming that way, be this be a ton, that be a ton. There's normally only a white line in between that, right? So there's a white line in between. There's a reason we don't go over those white lines and we don't go, oh, today we're going to drive on this side of the road. It's because there's something being installed into us. There's been symbols in our life. There's a habitual habit to do something. And now it's become our normal. So we wake up, oh, we yawn, we scratch our bum, we go to the bathroom, we go to the toilet, we might have a shower, we go down to the kitchen, we do this, we do that, we grab our keys from a certain spot. All of this stuff happens through habitual habits, our habits within what we do. What MV Corporate Health does is we come in and we start to install small habits each month to make these new things seem like they're just being folded into your general life. We do seminars, we do workshops, but we also do you know, 
projects that will last a month at a time, or if not longer, if we get really good call cool out of them. And as I say, we just fold them into your general patterns of life to make them the normal all of a sudden. At the moment, going to your business might mean going down to the, the kitchenette and chucking something in the microwave, or it might mean um, going down to the food hall and grabbing the same meal on Tuesday and slapping that down and then you're eating it. But if you don't understand what that might be doing to you and how in five years time you look down and all of a sudden you put on 10 to 15 kgs, which absolutely destroys your morale, your confidence, and then you stop going out with the team. This is what we're trying to do. We're trying to slowly but surely install little bits of chunky knowledge, little golden chunks that will go far out. I need to make a change now and I need to start helping myself, which is going to help the team. Absolutely. So you're literally helping, you know, the corporate CEOs and, um, um, you know, uh, HR people to actually know their culture so that they see how to integrate all these good practices within it. Now, not every hand has fingers that are the same height. So that also pertains to businesses. Not every business is going to be particularly the same. Now, the culture in this business is totally different to the culture in that business. Now, how does MV um, Corporate Health look into the differences within other businesses? Some businesses might be, um, uh, you know, a, a, a zero to 10 individuals and some might be a zero to 500. So it's easier or harder to you know, be talking to, to people in one space or they all are maybe remote. How do you then um, integrate um, you know, your philosophies of health within that, that corporation if it's different from the rest? Absolutely, great question and a very easy one to answer. So there's different ways that we can come at and work with companies. So we can either work from the top, um, top management and filter it down or we work with the workforce and filter it up either way what we're trying to do is if the executives get hold of what we're trying to do they're trying to the executives already know their team it's it's their job or their team leaders it's their job to know their people so what we do is we work with them to start to install these practices or programs into the business and then what we do is track the ROI from there to make sure that things are working. We need to know that there are results and there are good results happening. If there's not enough uh, interaction within these programs, we find out why. And then we tailor the next one to be better. Because in all honesty, with the first program that pops up, they in big corporates or small corporates, whatever it might be, you often have this, uh, you know, I don't want to do that. I can't be bothered. Life's too hard. But again, it's like the ripple effect. You drop a little stone in a, in a pond and you just watch it go. So if, you, if there's a positive outcome, people go, there's always that little looking over to the side. What are they doing all of a sudden? You know, what are they up to? And when there's a bit of interest, that's when you start to build momentum and momentum and clarity and again, changing the culture, small chunks at a time is where you get the massive impact. So think two or three years down the line. Where do you want to be with your company? Where do you want to take your company? What do your company, what does your company want to be known for? When we, when we get those honest answers, that's when we reverse engineer that and we start to put these small footsteps in place because it's like running a marathon. You're never going to say, oh, Brilliant. Next week, I'm going to run a marathon and just rip into it. You're going to, you're going to go and you're going to, there's a lot of processes that need to be taken before you even think about taking on that. And it might be doing a 5k run, a 10k run, a half marathon, a marathon in two years time. Okay. And then once everyone feels like they're on that boat and they're all confident and things are happening, that's when you get, that's when you get optimal, optimal health, optimal progress and that's when your whole company takes off absolutely well this has been remarkable and very very informative matt um and as much as you know we, we can get all the information um you know from maybe things that you've created online or somehow how can uh, ceos or 
people in culture, you know, type uh, people within corporations or HR people get a hold of you so that they can actually dive into all of this stuff because it really sounds interesting and people really need, um, and from your explanation, if they're not doing this, they're missing out on a whole chunk of money because, uh, you know, the culture is dead or the values are not being followed through and the company is not being represented in the right light. What's the best way to get a hold of you? Look, I, I've created a, 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 actually it's a free health audit. So what the com any company can do is they can get on my website, www.mvcorporatehealth.com. And on one of the links there, there's, it's, it's right up the top. It's free health audit. Basically, there'll be a video of me. You'll be explaining a little bit more in depth of what my company does. And then from there, they can uh, apply. And if they feel like we've got a good fit, they can apply and we'll do a free health audit to start. So it's a phone call health audit. And then we can there establish whether or not we can work together. It's, it's imperative that, that we find out that, say, me and you couldn't do this interview if we didn't actually have a similar background or we didn't have something that we had to talk about. We need to know that we're on the same page. So that's what I'm doing with companies. I, I don't just go and hang out with companies for the sake of it. I actually want to know that we're going to get along. And if we get along, we'll get results. If we are nutting heads right from the start, um, it, it's not going to work. I'm just being very honest. I'm here to actually make changes that can create change. So I'm here to take things extremely seriously. And I love what I do. I'm just so passionate. I could talk about this for hours in all honesty. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, obviously, I noticed that part about you. Now, I mean, since this is something that is probably going to be, um, you know, a heated topic amongst companies since this is the beginning of the year, and also their employees have just done their New Year resolutions and all that stuff is the beginning of the year. What sort of tidbits of advice can you just give to people um, in order for them to stick with it? Because as you would know, after Valentine's, after those chocolates, everything goes... Um, you know, all the habits uh, and all the resolutions, nobody cares about being fit, having, um, you know, health or to increase productivity or just even turnover within their business. What sort of last bits can you um, leave, leave us with there? Oh, wow. So often when I go and see a company, the, we talk about the whole life wellness circle and there's so many little pieces of the pie. Funny enough, I bring up pie. Um, but there's so many little chunks to everyone's life that, that to make it fun or to make it, uh, to make it accessible and to make it uh, the, something that you actually want to do with these bits of pie, you want to make sure that like your social well-being has been looked after, that your financial well-being has been looked after, that your physical health has been looked after, that your spiritual has been looked after. You know, there's so many other little chunky bits that you want to make sure that your your pie of life, let's say, is actually quite even because don't worry. Look, if you go out on Valentine's Day and decide to have a big dessert because you're trying to impress or whatever, as everyone in the health industry knows, it's those times where you go, yeah, I can have this. I've been pretty good for 80% of the week or 80% of the day or whatever it might be. It's learning to let go as well. There's too many hard and fast rules on health and well-being at the moment that there's a, a million diets out there that you can stick to. Stick to. I say stick to, which people don't. Diet is a terrible word in, in, in my instance. I honestly believe that. Um, so as I say, it's learning to enjoy when you do go out, it's understanding what to do after or before you have these fun times. For me, that's the key. Like I said to you before, knowledge is power. And if we give you knowledge, then you have the power. Absolutely. Well, thanks for empowering us right there. And if you're watching this show right now and you really looking into improving, you know, your employees health and to improve the, their productivity and turnover and especially morale by instilling all those habits within their culture. I think Matt is your guy. Thank you so much, Matt, for your time and the knowledge that you just dropped us. Now we've got the power. No worries, mate. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Cool. Yeah. Thank you.